see <coughs> see in this question it is given that uh, there is a circle whose center is at origin and radius is 1 now there is a incident ray that strikes tangent drawn at 0 comma 1 to this circle this is tangent drawn at 0 comma 1 equation is y equals to minus 1 now incident ray strikes this tangent line which is horizontal line at minus 2 minus 1 at this point and after getting reflected from this line it touches this circle so incident ray falls at this point gets reflected and touches this circle now we are supposed to find equation of the incident ray that is equation of L1 find equation of L1 such that reflected ray such that so line, line reflected by this tangent touches the circle so see how like we can start question like this we can you know we can first of all find the slope of the reflected ray how we can we can even write equation of the reflected ray the reflected ray is passing through minus 2 minus 1 at slope equals to m so using slope point form equation of reflected ray is this that is this now reflected ray touches the circle you know using condition of tangency we can get this result or in fact this is a result that if y equals to mx plus c line y equals to mx plus c line touches the circle x square plus y square equal to a square then c square equals to a square into 1 plus m square and using this condition c is the y intercept of the line that is this 2m minus 1 equals to a square from radius into 1 plus m square now solving this quadratic we get two values of m now obviously m equal to 0 is not possible so m equals to 4 by 3 is slope of L2 slope of L2 is 4 by 3 now we are supposed to find slope of L1 you know if this angle is alpha then slope of L2 that is 4 by 3 is 10 alpha by definition 10 alpha is slope and that is 4 by 3 now as angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection this angle is also alpha right both some of these two is 90 some of these two is 90 if this is theta then this should be alpha so slope of L1 equals to tan of and you can see this angle is pi minus alpha tan of pi minus alpha right slope of this line is this angle is alpha so this whole is pi minus alpha tan of pi minus alpha that is minus tan alpha and minus tan alpha we replace the value of tan alpha 4 by 3 so it is minus 4 by 3 so we get slope of incident ray L1 is minus 4 by 3 so we can now find it find it equation because we know L1 is passing through minus 2 minus 1 using slope point form we get y plus 1 equals to slope minus 4 by 3 into x plus 2 that is 3y plus 4x equals to minus 11